What's up, everybody? So, have all of you been following the John Jones versus Dana White story that's going on right now? Today, it took a really unexpected turn for me. But let's go back a little bit here. Dana White has been known to be get into it with his fighters over the years. Started with Tito Ortiz. He got into it with Anderson Silva. Now, John Jones. And there's been a lot of guys. Tyrone Woodley. People just come talking in my head. Uh, seem, seemingly, even GSP there for a little bit, um, or probably even now, uh, there's been a lot of guys, a lot of the guys that break through that, that top barrier that become really big stars in the UFC, Dana White seems to get into it with them uh, once in a while, but that's just, you're going to, any boss and any employee, especially in the fight game, are probably not going to see eye to eye all the time. And another guy was like Brendan Schaub, who still hasn't been welcomed back into the UFC family, no matter how much Joe Rogan tries. But a couple days ago, uh, well, a couple weeks ago, John Jones has come out and said that he wanted to fight Francis Ngannou. Francis Ngannou was quick to accept that fight. And the fight, uh, the fight fans are going crazy online. They want to see that fight. Now, who doesn't want to see that fight? John Jones versus Francis. What a crazy massive fight that would be. But we're not here to talk about the fight. But, man, what a fight that would be. And then it comes out that John Jones was asking for more money. That's fine. John Jones can ask for more money. No, I, no one said anything about Francis asking for money, so I don't know if he did as well. But John Jones is a big star in the UFC, so he, he deserves to get paid. But then Dana comes out and says that he's asking for Deontay Wilder money. Deontay Wilder is one of the top boxers on the planet. Most notably fighting uh, Tyson Fury in a couple of fights. I uh, went to a draw the first time and lost the second time. But he makes... Something like 30, 35, 40 million dollars a fight, somewhere in that range. There's been no UFC fighter that has ever come close to that. Maybe with bonuses and sponsorship deals and all of that nature, Conor McGregor came to that amount, maybe, but just a base PO from the UFC, no one's ever eclipsed that. So Dana White and uh, John Jones have been going back and forth. John Jones denied that he asked for Deontay Wilder money. And then Dana says, why would he lie? This is just a brief recap in case you don't want to go watch all of the other <laughs> hundred videos of this. You get this all in one place. Dana says he has text messages from John Jones that state that John Jones asked for that type of money. John Jones retaliates and says, release the text messages. Dana White has not released the text messages. He said in the post-fight press conference last night that uh, his lawyer, I uh, forget his lawyer's name, Hunter, maybe? Anyway, the UFC's lawyer, Dana White's lawyer, and John Jones are friends, apparently. Apparently, they're very tight, according to Dana White. He said that John Jones and the lawyer had a good discussion yesterday and uh, that things things are looking okay. Um, him and the lawyer talked. Uh, didn't say exactly what they talked about, but Dana didn't seem too down on the subject at this point. But today, just a few minutes ago, everywhere is reporting that John Jones has relinquished the UFC lightweight champion. Said he doesn't want to fight either of the two number one contenders for that belt. I uh, said that it doesn't do anything for his career and that uh, if they want to pay him, he'll fight Israel Adesani sometime in 2021, which would be an outstanding fight as well. But Israel Adesani has got to come way up in weight. No doubt that he can do it, mind you, but it's going to take a little while for Izzy to put on that weight. And he's the cur current middleweight champion. So he's going to have to either vacate that title or it's not going to be defended for a year or so while uh, Israel Adesani puts on that size. Because you can't just jump up and fight John Jones at 185 pounds. Two technical strikers like that, John Jones would outweigh him uh, by a lot come fight time if they fought at 205 because there's no way Jones is getting the 185 so this fight would be at 205 and John Jones probably steps into the octagon somewhere around 220-225 uh, maybe even 230 but who knows but anyway 
if Israel Asanya makes 205, he's going to be walking around at 205. So he's going to be that at fight weight. So John Jones relinquishes the UFC heavyweight title today. Or at least that's what he said on Twitter, Instagram, everywhere. Google it. You'll see it. Now, the UFC has not acknowledged that as of yet. So the UFC hasn't officially stripped John Jones of the championship. But... Uh, it's going to be interesting to see where they go from here. Now, I mentioned the guys that Dana White has got into it with it before. Tito's, Anderson, all those other people. He generally is able to make amends enough to be able to work with them in the fight game. game. But John Jones seems like a whole different breed of person. He has had a ton of troubles, legal troubles, outside of the octagon. So who knows? Maybe John Jones is the one guy that Dana can't reconcile with. Uh, I'm sure Dana. I'm, I'm sure Dana will try, or the UFC will try, but you, you you never know. And if John does relinquish the title, that's crazy. Who would you like to see fight for the light heavyweight championship? Maybe DC comes back. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just just real crazy that. It's got this far, unless they're just doing this to hype everything up. All the news sites now are biting, including myself. Uh, not that I'm a news site, but everyone's biting on the Dana White, John Jones uh, story right now. It's going to be really interesting to see where things go. Um, and it's not like John Jones can go fight elsewhere. He has a fight contract with the UFC. I'm sure he's made enough money, however much he's made, to be able to not fight for the rest of his life and be fine making money off sponsorships, fights, and everything else. So he probably doesn't ever have to fight ever again. He also said one thing. He sees how other professional sports companies sees how they treat their athletes. He's talking about his brothers who play in the NFL and how good the NFL treats their players. Uh, kind of insinuating, well, not kind of insinuating, insinuating that Dana White in the UFC doesn't treat their fighters well. Who knows? We've heard that before, but then we've also heard the exact opposite, how people love working for the UFC. They love Dana White. It just seems like the guys that get disgruntled like to uh, toss that out there. But who knows? It's going to be interesting to see what the next couple of days ho days hold, see if the UFC recognizes John Jones relinquishing the title, see if they set up a title fight, to see if Dana White and John Jones can uh, get back on the same uh, track, get back on the same terms, get a fight scheduled. Uh, it's going to be interesting. What do you guys think of everything that's going on?